regulator called called series regulator series regulator for example series regulator series regulator will be having variable input plus minus and then you may have a resistor here previously that i have done it and then you may have a transistor high current transistor npn transistor like this and then transistor means it contains collector emitter base therefore there may be a resistor and then the zener is connected across this and then the center point of resistor and a zener is connected to the base be out let it be 6.3 volts 6.3 volt zener or 6.7 volt zener this is uh, 2n 3055 is npn high power transistor now this voltage is going to be fluctuating like this this voltage is going to be constant voltage of 6.7 volt this is of course a 1k resistor which will be dropping this voltage to 6.7 volt this is a higher voltage resistor because this current is going to be heavy wire wound resistor wire wound resistor of lower ohms 330 ohms or something then in that condition condition this 1k resistor will drive a smaller current only through the zener and then keeping the, this voltage very constant we know very well in a transistor like npn transistor whatever the voltage we we apply to the base with respect to ground the emitter will have a voltage vb minus 0.7 vb minus 0.7 that is a normal understanding of a transistor for an npn transistor of silicon or whatever it is base will be higher than the emitter by 0.7 volt here look into the circuit this base terminal with respect to emitter when this voltage is going to be with respect to ground 6.7 volt and when there is a drop about 0.7 here this voltage is going to be 6 volt therefore whatever the change is occurring in the input voltage of the this circuit that will drop 6.7 volt here always that will be constant whatever change is occurring that volt the changes will be absorbed by this 1k resistor only but only 6.7 volt will be available here the base emitter voltage is going to be 0.7 therefore 6 volt will be normally available at the output you can have a load zl and you can connect it to that therefore this is a series regulator and it has the load in series with the output power supply and there will be a sensing element using a zener and a resistor therefore this type of circuit is called as series regulator and here also you can have input characteristics and you can have an output characteristics input variation is not transferred up to what input and uh, changes uh, is occurring accordingly we have to find out the output voltage here so if you, you can draw that so this is called is a output voltage output voltage with respect to v in therefore this is input characteristics here beyond certain voltage here this will come down or this may increase also anything can happen it will lose its regulation efficiency therefore beyond this point you cannot use this regulator and then in the output characteristics output characteristics if load current is the current through zl is going on increasing v out is will be constant and then it may come down beyond this you cannot use this regulator therefore there is a limitation input voltage can have 
change only this much output current can also can be this much only beyond that you cannot do these are the limitations in this so before this we have a transformer rectifier filter everything i have taken to account only that after rectification what voltage is going to be available next is a circuit which will be another regulator is called as shunt regulator because the output will be across the input therefore it is called as shunt regulator so here the changing voltage dc voltage is provided to a circuit which have a transistor which have a transistor across the input input and then input side we have the same way in the series regulator we have a zener and a resistor and this is going to be the v out and then we will have a resistor here to drop the voltage okay so this is v out so here we have a load zl like that it's a variable one so current il can be changed here input voltage v in is fluctuating like this here when il is increased output voltage will be constant for some time it may come down here when input voltage is going on changing going on changing output voltage may be constant but afterwards it may increase this is a limitation this is another limitation according to the necessity we have to use this circuit as shunt regulator for a particular device coming to the point coming to the point how this is regulating is when input voltage is of some value 6.7 volt 6.7 volt uh, zener is connected like this and this is going to be 1k resistor this is going to be 330 ohms higher voltage resistor when input voltage is changing what happens is this circuit will uh, will form a constant voltage across the zener and whatever higher voltage is available here that will be fed to 1k resistance when you are applying a higher voltage here there is going to be a current through collected to the ground this resistor will be deciding on that the current will go through this and come down so when that is the case what happens is whatever change is occurring the change is transferred to 1k resistor because of the 1k resistor the current through this is going to change therefore therefore excess voltage the current will be different this current will be different so that here the drop is going to be absorbed when input voltage is changing the current will be more here because of the current is more so this is going to be increase ir drop is going to be large if the voltage is coming down this voltage it will form 6 volt drop here it's a lower voltage here lower current through this when this collector current is lower the here ir drop is going to be small when input is going down small drop is occurring when input to the voltage is going high large drop is occurring and that is why here i have told you in the input character 6 it is keeping the output voltage constant let us come to the output side when load is going on changing up to this load the voltage doesn't change but beyond the limit if you are drawing more current through the load what happens is this current is excess when this current is excess this voltage may be coming down if this is coming down this voltage also will come down it will reduce its current through the collector when this current is increasing this reduces the current when this current is low this increases the current like that the drop across this resistor is going on changing to observe the changes occurring in the input side like that this shunt regulator is having an input character 6 as well as output character 6 and are able to accept the changes in the in the voltage of the input side as well as the changes occurring in the output side in the load current like that we are able to use 
use the regulator gene diode as a sensing device uh, either in series regulator or in shunt regulator both are possible the coming to this uh, the manufacturers in some in some generating in some manufacturing gene diode itself they have started manufacturing a small black box with the three terminals with three terminals like this three terminals and they have told the people to utilize this as a regulator uh, circuit for small applications therefore so this device is called as three pin three pin regulators three pin regulators okay this will look like a versa watt transistor versa watt transistors versa watt transistor means it may be rectangular this thing with a heat sink metallic background you can put the heat sink also with the three terminals like that this contains input side and output side the center terminal is there therefore we have to apply the variable voltage to the input side with respect to ground and take the output voltage with respect to ground so v out this is v in therefore therefore this type of three pin regulators are manufactured by many industries and they can be used for smaller applications lower current applications these devices are available with voltages like the with the specifications like 7805 7805 7819781278247824 like that many devices are available for voltages of 5 volts for 6 volts for 9 volts for 12 volts and for 24 volts like that many voltages are available to apply plus voltage here and minus voltage here and plus voltage here like that there are three positive voltage regulators are available with 7805 like that but there are some regulators in for particular application some regulators are necessary they they want to have minus voltage output voltage is supposed to be minus and ground is supposed to be plus therefore 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 this type of regulators are also available those regulators are provided with numbers like 79 not not 9 7912 like that this 9 volt 12 volt regulators are available to provide minus voltages with respect to ground so many things are available like that anything whatever we want if we want higher current rating of a regulator we have to opt for series regulator or or shunt regulator and if we, if we want very very low voltage regulator then we can we can go go for smaller zero die regulator otherwise when we want higher current rating we can go for go for series shunt regulator and in between middle range regulators for giving output of 1 watts for 6 volts 9 volts 12 volts like that we can opt for thin three pin regulator ic's three pin here all these things okay very fine but even then we are not uh, satisfied we want to go for some more regulators like when uh, these are called as linear regulators linear regulators why they are calling they are called as linear regulator is because we are obtaining the unregulated uh, unregulated dc voltage from transformers only there are lot of transformers to accept 230 volts input and to provide ac voltage of 24 volts 12 volts or 8 9 volts anything like that as we are using ordinary transformers ordinary transformers these regulators are called as regulator uh, non linear regulators as it is using a transformer like that but there are lot of advantage disadvantages in linear regulator the transformer is heavy it large and as we are rectifying the voltage of 50 hertz 50 hertz or 60 hertz we need filter capacitors very large value filter capacitors are supposed to be very large value to filter out low frequency 
to filter out low frequency. Therefore, linear regulators are having disadvantages like they have transformers bulky one and also uh, they have to use larger value electrolytic capacitors for regulation purpose. And also then they have to go for regulator also. Therefore, people are not at all utilizing nowadays presently uh, linear type of regulators with the bulky transformers, bulky transformers and uh, larger value capacitor, the size of power supply if that black box becomes very large in size. Therefore, it is being discouraged. Nowadays, these regulators are uh, done with the latest one called SMPS. SMPS means this is switched mode power supply. Switched mode power supply has got lot of advantages like it is able to uh, provide a smaller size for the same capacity of a linear regulator. Linear regulator and uh, SMPS regulator for the same voltage, same current rating, the size is going to be one third, one fifth only. Therefore, SMPS now it has become very, very popular and it is called switch to more power supply. So, this Elaborately, this SMPS power supply we are going to discuss in the next video. Uh, therefore, we request uh, to uh, all the technicians and the students to understand what is meant by the regulation, how a regulator is going to function and how to choose the particular regulator uh, from the manufacturer's data and other things and uh, all these things are possible. Uh, to recap, I tell you. Uh, black box is a very very important and challenging electronic circuit which has to be decided by the person who is going to use uh, gadgets with the DC power supply to keep the performance constant, to keep the input voltage constant like that. Three types we have seen, Zener regulator and uh, using Zener as the sensor and uh, providing a linear regulator with the series type and the shunt type and then moving on to three pin moderate regulators manufactured by uh, companies with the only three pins. There is no design, no nothing can be designed straight away. Variable voltage can be fed to some pin and uh, constant voltage can be taken out of the pin. So with this, I would like to conclude uh, this important discussion about regulators. Regulators, I hope uh, I mean my viewers uh, should have understood very nicely. And if they have any uh, comment, any anything they are not able to understand, and if they have some more doubts, they can uh, ask me in the comment section, and they can uh, use my mail also. I will provide my email ID. They can send it. I'll be able to happily. Uh, discuss and uh, uh, guide them properly. Thank you very much. Thank you friends.